If you look at his entire life as a soldier, as a humanitarian, I cannot really think of any other person who deserves a medal of freedom than Colonel Young Ho Kim. People don't know about him. And his story needs to be told. His story needs to be heard. Young Ho Kim is known for being one of the greatest soldier in American history. He is most famous for his accomplishment as a, someone who went through a uh, so-called battle in Anjou. There was a no man's land between the German uh, defense line and the Allied forces trying to launch a major attack. And anything moves, the, either Germans and the Allied forces will shoot at each other. So they were afraid to launch an attack. But Young Ho Kim volunteered. He crossed into the landmines and captured two German prisoners of the war and brought them back to the Allied forces. And based on their interrogation answers, Allied forces were able to launch an attack and liberate Rome. So that is one of the greatest story actually about Young Ho Kim. You know, at the time, 1950s, minorities were viewed as inferior people. And he was proud of the fact that he became the first minority battalion commander during combat in U.S. Army history. That really shows, you know, what kind of a soldier he was. When he was assigned to 100th Battalion, his commanding officer told him, this is a mistake. I will transfer you out to another unit. And Young Kim said, I just got you, sir. And he said, you know this is mostly Japanese American unit. And I know you are Korean, and Koreans and Japanese don't get along. And he said, no, sir. I'm American, and they're American. We'll fight as an American. And so commanding officer said, if you, your Japanese American man accept you, then I will let you stay. When he plans a battle, he cares deeply about his men. He doesn't want to sacrifice his men. They all knew that. You know, he himself, you know, risked life many, many times. That's the reason why he was wounded so many times. So many Japanese American men, soldiers, began to believe that if you go with Young Ho Kim, you, you will come back alive. So that's how he earned their respect, and that's how his legacy was born. You know, there are many great war heroes out there, but his story doesn't end there. You know, it, it begins with that. Young Ho Kim was a great humanitarian. He highly valued human lives. And so when he landed in Busan, he saw all these young orphans begging for food and sea ration. Uh, so he stopped and told all of his men, you know, you guys you know, don't need all this sea ration. Why don't you take what you need and give everything else to me? So he collects all these sea ration boxes and gives to the you know, young orphans. During the battle in Italy, he said, if I survive this war, I will work for the betterment of the community I belong to. And he kept that promise until he passed away.